guys, so today I thought I'd do an anti-haul. I think it's time for an anti-haul because uh, there's a lot of new goodies coming out. I'm always tempted, but then uh, once I do a bit of digging, most of the time, I'm not as tempted. So uh, so the first I'm going to start out with for the anti-haul is the House Labs Color Fuse Talc-Free Blush Pro Powder with Fermented Arnica. And why do brands keep, it seems like Arnica is their favorite ingredient. Arnica, on occasion, for bruising and things like that, fine. For daily use on a regular basis, I think it can cause some sensitivity to people. And uh, so it's one of those ingredients where it's like, I don't know, occasionally, maybe good. Regularly, not so much. And also, if you look at the, uh, the size of the compact, the old version, or the similar version of their blush, apparently they've really shrunk it down uh, a lot. So shrinkflation is huge in action, and it's 32 bucks. I mean, the color in it looks pretty, but um, dragon fruit hot pink, I don't know if I could pull that off. Some people will try, but anyway, so it's 0.18 ounces or 5 grams, and I believe the previous version of this was much, much more. So do what you will with that. Apparently some people complained that it was too much. I don't know why somebody would do that. I guess they thought maybe they would lower the price of it and reduce it, but that never happens. So, uh, okay, next up, uh, I've got the Ilia Skin Rewind Blurring Foundation and Concealer Stick, uh, which will probably, another one, be great for a lot of people. I have tried so many stick foundations. I am done with them. They never work great for me. I think it's probably my dry skin. Perhaps if you have more normal skin, it might work better, but for me, my skin's always so dry, it ends up tugging on my skin, and then it ends up accentuating flakes by the end of the day. There's nothing wrong with this product in and of itself. It's got some good reviews, but I just have a feeling for me, it's not the best. I just stick foundations and No BS Beauty do not go well together for some reason. Okay, next up. This was one I was actually pretty bummed about. It's their Sun Safety Kit, which is $39.00. It comes out every spring, and usually I'm very excited. However, this will be one of the first years I'm not purchasing it because they're adding in so many products that were already in uh, last year's bundle or were offered as free samples. There's not really any of the exciting new stuff in there. Like they could have thrown some of the new Super Goop in there instead of the unseen sunscreen that they do every time. It's been in all of them. Uh, they've got the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Sunscreen. I swear that was in the last one. We've got a tiny little sample of a Dr. Dennis Gross sunscreen. That was in last year's too. Um, and then they've got a couple other ones. The Inky List Dewy poly, uh, Polyglutamic Acid Sunscreen, which is probably, for being the full-size product, is the cheapest sunscreen, probably at Sephora. Then we've got another sample of the St. Jane sunscreen. That was in last year's too. And then a few other little tiny ones, so... Um, kind of a bummer. If you're new into skincare, like as of in the last year, there's probably a lot of products you haven't tried in here, but I'd love to see something different. The other, so they've got two full-size products. One's the Inky List, and the other one's a lip balm. So they really, I would have loved to see some of the new sunscreens in there, but they didn't do that. So it's kind of a disappointment, but check it out. I mean, if you haven't tried any of them, it's still a good deal. Okay, next up, I've got the Youth to the People. Superfood Skin Drip Smoothing Glow Barrier Serum with Kale and Niacinamide, which, you know, when I first look at it, like, so, oh, it might be kind of interesting. And then I look at the ingredients, and I, I'm, I'm bored with niacinamide and everything, just like I was bored with sodium hyaluronic being in everything. Um, and then it, towards the end of the ingredient list, they have fragrance. So this would be one I'd have to test in the store. Uh, if the scent isn't overwhelming, I could probably tolerate it, but the ingredients in here don't look like anything that it's worth going to that effort for. Uh, and they recently got sold, so I don't know what's going on there, but the ingredients in here just leave something to be desired. So some of their products are unscented, which is nice, and then some of them are pretty strong. So, uh, okay, next up I've got the Laneige Bouncy and Firm Radiance Boosting Sleeping Mask at 36 bucks. And this one I was intrigued with, so I did some research on it, did kind of checking it out. And this one has too much fragrance in it, again, and pretty high up. So we've got fragrance, and we've got linalool, citronelle, geranol, hydroxy citronelle, uh, a lot of different fragrance ingredients in here. And the uh, exciting ingredients are very front-loaded with slip ingredients and nothing super exciting. Uh, out of the first, like, five or six ingredients, 
I think the most exciting one in there is probably squalane. That's probably in the first 10 ingredients. So um, that one's easy pass for me. So they're so hit or miss for fragrance. I don't get it. Uh, okay, next up, I've got the Herborean Centella Cream Soothing Moisturizer, which is $34 at Ulta. And this brand, I really wanted to love this brand, but this is another brand that throws a lot of fragrance in their stuff. It's front-loaded with a lot of unexciting products. Uh, Centella, that's the star of the show, is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ingredients down. So that one... Pretty easy pass, especially for that price. It's a little bit pricey. Uh, speaking of pricey, Olaplex now has their Brow Bond Building Serum for brows. They also have one for lashes. And I will say it's a very close dupe to this one, which is $14. The Ordinary Multipeptide Serum for Lash and Brow. The one from Olaplex is $68. And it's 0.11 ounces. And this one's even more. And uh, yeah, so the ingredients are very similar. They don't have any of the prostaglandins. If you want something similar to it, buy the one from The Ordinary, which is one-fifth of the price. And it's still got basically very similar ingredients in it. Uh, next up, I've got the Tula. Truly, sorry, not Trula. Truly. And I still have no idea how this brand is still around. Even after a multi-million dollar class action lawsuit, they're still around. I have no idea how, but... Probably because their products are cheap. Uh, Truly Soft Serve Aftershave Oil for $33. Bucks. I have no idea how this brand still exists. Their products and ingredients just... I don't really want to say anything really that bad, but it's full of crap. I mean, we've got fragrance as the second ingredient, then lavender oil, coconut oil. Uh, I mean, for $33. I just can't believe that brand is still existing. And they got a lot, of, a lot of shelf space at Ulta, and I have no idea how that happened, but, uh, yeah. That's all I'm going to say. I don't want to be too harsh on them, but, yeah. I think I probably already was, so. And then last but not least, uh, nothing actually, I like this brand. Summer Friday's Jet Leg Overnight Eye Serum for fine lines and wrinkles with a gentle retinol blend. Um, I, you know what, typically around my eyes, I almost always just use the same retinoids, whatever I'm using on my face, I typically use around my eyes, or there's a ton of other ones. Uh, the Beauty of Josen Retinol Eye Serum is really nice and it's really affordable. And that one I can also use on my face, so I don't really know why uh, most people probably are fine using what they use for retinoids around their eyes, just with caution. But I don't necessarily think everyone needs their own special retinol for their eyes. Maybe some people, I don't know, but uh, in my experience, I just apply the one around my eyes and make sure I put moisturizer on it and it works. So, I, yeah, I just save you guys some money there too. So, anyway, that's what I've got. Uh, interested in hearing from you guys what you're not buying? Leave a comment and I will see you guys more tomorrow. Thanks so much. Bye-bye, everyone.